Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler. An army, even a people, a veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. <laughs> then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We... we shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! You will pay for what you've done. I'll tear you apart with my bands. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? 
You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy.
There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home?
Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... Where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your fearful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you.